Hey all, so I've been getting some queries asking about what is Euphoria Studio exactly, what's Creo Illustrate, how to link data from Thingworks, and all some basic questions regarding the same. So I thought to make an informative video first, wherein I'll be talking about what is Euphoria Studio, how it came into existence, and all. All right, so let's get started. So Euphoria Studio is a product of the company PTC, which stands for Parametric Technologies Corporation. It has a product called Euphoria, which specifically creates AR products. Earlier, Euphoria was owned by Qualcomm and now it's acquired by PTC. So Euphoria Studio. So we create AR experiences using Euphoria Studio for devices like HoloLens, HoloLens 1 and 2, Android devices and iOS. So how it works? So here's a small demonstration. We create experiences in Euphoria Studio using JavaScript and then we publish it into the cloud or on premise depending upon the version we have selected. Then we publish, after publishing it, we go to the ThingMark. We can scan the ThingMark and we can see the experiences. And basically the ThingMark is something which segregates all our experiences from each other. So it's kind of a link, I can say, which sorts out from many experiences and pulls out the one which we are needing. So this is how a thing map works, basically. It's kind of a QR code or a code of scanning which directs us to the respective experience which we want to fetch and we are able to view it using Euphoria View application. Here are some benefits of the software. It's simple, it's drag and drop. We can download the experiences and view it after like in offline mode without internet also. We have special target and model target and I guess recently 360 degree model target is also launched. So I guess you can go through this easily. Another is about Creo Illustrate. So Creo Illustrate is PTC product again, which is used for creating animations and sequences. So basically, we need Creo Illustrate if we want to do any animation stuff in Euphoria Studio because Euphoria Studio currently accepts only the animations from Creo Illustrates. So we need to download Creo Illustrate from the PTC portal using our login credentials and then we can create animations and sequences. We need to export it to .pvz file and bring it to Euphoria Studio. There are some other products also such as Euphoria Export Capture, using which we can capture our procedure using a HoloLens gadget maybe. And then we have Euphoria Editor, using which we can create step-by-step -step instructions or a procedure, basically. And then we have Euphoria Vintage, an application, using which we can see the procedure. All right, so I guess that's a lot of information. So to keep it simple, we have Euphoria Capture, using which we can capture the data, we can capture the procedure, we can make video recordings, we can click some pictures. After that, we come to Euphoria Editor, which is the authoring tool, wherein we basically do all the editing and create our AR experiences. We can add text to it and many more. Then we have Euphoria Vintage, which is an application using which we can actually view the procedure which we have created. And then we have Euphoria Insights, which is basically a analyzer tool. And last but not least, the main product is about Thingworks. So basically, if you want to link any IoT data or some real-time value with Euphoria Studio AR experiences, we'll be needing Thingworks. So how to do that, how we can link the data, I'll be covering up in the coming videos. Let me know if this video was helpful for you and yeah, keep asking questions. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.